first day of pre-running opens up, they're out here running. And so they'll run each section and they'll run the section after them and before them just in case one of the riders get uh, you know, hurt or injured because it's, it's tough out there. You just did the mic slip two or three times. And it's real fast roads and you know laid back kind of rally style. So yeah, I can join that instead of getting the you know, snot beat out of you every 15 minutes. Bite you because you go off the road and there's a big boulder sitting there waiting for you. So uh, you, know, you got to be on your toes, but you know you can make up a lot of time in a lot of those places. So you know you just got to know your homework and know where you're going and just you know do your best to stay on the track and have some fun. Big thing about pre-running lesson that we learned: be ready, be prepared because you never know how long you're going to be out there. And we found that lesson out when our Jeep transmission caught fire and uh, have your safety equipment, uh, communication set up, make sure somebody knows where you're at, where you're going, and pre-run buddy system. That, that's, that's a must. Never, never pre-run alone. You need to know where the course changes. You, know, you need to know where the, your G-outs are, your, like if there's mud or water or anything of that sort. You need to know where all the hazards on the race course are. If you don't know that, you're going to be second-guessing yourself. Well, should I really be going this fast? Maybe I need to back it off. But if you pre-run, you know, your GPS, you have all that marked. Pre-running is it's going awesome, but there's a lot to learn. We've learned tons of lines and tons of spots to go. It's going to be about 105 degrees in San Luis Bay, Diablo Dry Lake Bed. You come down here, Bob, pre-run, eat, your, eat your tacos, have some fun, and enjoy being with your family and friends.